Still be performing When the World Turned Grey by Joanne Watkinson. I'll be playing a young football fan and in this scene she is describing her experiences of Hillsborough in 1989. We arrived early that day, spending time milling about around Sheffield, killing time. The sun was shining bright and we were excited for the match. Many of my friends thought it was a bit strange that a girl could be so obsessed with football, but I've been a massive fan for as long as I could remember. I love to watch it as much as I love to play it, even though game lessons at my school didn't include football for girls, which always baffled me. I played in our local park every night after school with the local kids, we make goalposts for my jackets. It was a real family thing for us going to the games, and on the 15th of April, we visited Hillsborough, which turned out to be unforgettable for all the wrong reasons. It seemed to take ages to get through the turnstiles. People were beginning to get frustrated. We just wanted to get in. And when we did, there was a buzz in the air for the big match. The FA Cup semi-final. This was short-lived. As crowds pushed forward into the already crowded pens, it wasn't long before I lost my parents in the chaos. People were pushing forward, but there was nowhere to go. People were reaching hands outstretched from above, but I couldn't even raise my arm. The pressure was too great. I felt panicked. The young lad next to me was stood upright. His eyes were closed. Why wasn't he moving? The next thing I know, I'm stood, staring out from the sidelines like a spectator, feeling dazed, confused. People were lying on the floor with their faces covered, families searching for loved ones. Why wasn't I helping anyone? I felt so frozen to the spot. Suddenly, a man ran towards me and threw himself to the person that lay at my feet. I glanced down and my heart sank. There before me was my own limp body. Was I dead? It was difficult to process. The next thing I know, I was waking up in the local infirmary with my mother staring down at me, tears in her eyes. I knew at that moment that my dad was gone. Pressing asphyxia was the cause. He was caught in the crush while searching for me. I was told later that the football fan whose name I do not know saved my life. My anonymous guardian angel. I struggle with the images of that day. but. My biggest struggle is survivor's guilt. I feel guilty for not being someone else's guardian angel that day. I feel guilty that I was lucky. I feel guilty for feeling guilty. I feel guilty that my dad died looking for me. But I know deep down that guilt shouldn't consume me. I wasn't to blame. I was just an excited football fan on a sunny day. He witnessed the world turning grey.